you doing? No, pl no, please don't do this. No, Mary, stop. No, ma put it down. But ma Mary. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Please, I need help. Send an ambulance. My boyfriend just shot himself. <laughs> Martin Kane, 21 years old, acute memory loss from self-inflicted gunshot wound to the hippocampus. Hello, Martin. I'm sorry, I should introduce myself. I'm Dr. Osborne, your psychiatrist. I understand if you're confused as to why you're here, but I can assure you that all of this is in your best interest. My goal is to help you grow psychologically from your traumatic experience and break that down so we can understand why you had your little accident. There are a multitude of treatment options. I just want to avoid the unfortunate alternative of a mental institution, but fortunately for you, I don't believe that you are currently at the level that that would be necessary. Shall we begin? Um, Mr. Doctor. Okay. Hey, doctor, do you really think this is necessary? Oh, absolutely. Now, I'm going to ask you a few basic questions just so I can see if I can spark your memory. What's the last thing you remember? What's this? A mental institution? You were in there for 10 minutes. Listen, I've had a lot of patients recover from brain trauma, but from what I've seen, he needs to be put away. Can't, can't you just talk to him? He's incredibly unstable. If we keep pushing this, it's not gonna work out for either of us. So I suggest you bite the bullet and move on. I'm sorry, that's insensitive. I know that this is hard for you. Maybe you can stop by my house for a coffee and we can discuss this further. Why are you still awake? Why are you still awake? Touche. What's up? I wanted to talk to you about something. I've been having the same weird dream every night. Oh yeah? What, you like, do it with Kim K or something? What? No. It's nothing interesting. It just it feels oddly familiar. What does that even mean? Familiar how? Familiar like something to do with the accident. It's weird. Did you talk to your doctor friend about it? I'll try to. It feels like deja vu. Isn't it pronounced deja vu? No. Listen, dude. Just talk to your doctor. Haven't you already been doing that? Something just feels wrong. What do you, what do you mean? They keep saying that I shot myself. I mean, I don't think I would do that. I don't know why I would do that. Probably because you lost your memory, idiot. <laughs> Shut up. How's Mary? She seems stressed. We haven't talked a ton since I was discharged from the hospital, and you know, I'm sure it's hard on her, but like, she has to at least talk to me. I mean, I've got my own stuff going on too, but it doesn't help that she evades me whenever I bring it up. Listen, if I were you, I would definitely mention all this to your doctor. It, it has to mean something. I don't see how that relates. Let's play a memory game. I'm going to flip the cards down, and you're going to try and remember where each card is. The goal is to match the cards. Can we just get back to the dream? Like, like I feel like this is something. The dream. Talking about dreams will get us nowhere, okay? We need to start talking about reality. The reality is, you shot yourself, and we need to figure out why. Look, I understand that this is hard for you, but you have to know that I'm here for you. 
So you can talk to me about anything that's on your mind. Is there anything bugging you? Um, no, not that I can recall. Okay. Back to the game. Come on, there's gotta be something. I'm sorry. He can't remember a thing. N nothing? Nothing weird? It just, it, it feels like he's avoiding me. Trust me, if there was something, I would tell you. I know it's hard to wrap your head around the fact that there's a possibility that he may never recover from this, but you need to understand that the road to progress is a bumpy one. I know, but I just can't stand here and watch him not remember who we were. I have to tell him about us. What? Okay, I... No. Do you want my professional opinion or my personal opinion? I want honesty. Honestly? He's too far gone. He's never going to remember you. He's never going to remember me. He's never going to remember any of this. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I can try. I can try to help him. But there's not much I can do. I can't have you influencing him. You need to stay away from him. Uh, how would I influence him? There's a possibility that your constant attempts to stir his memory will counteract the treatment that I'm giving him. I sympathize with you. I do. But you need to understand that this is a meticulous process that cannot be interrupted. I, I know, but I just, I don't know if I can. Only for a week. Please. Ready to play the matching game again? Doc, is this even working? Excuse me? I mean this. I mean, I'm playing you 90 an hour to play matching games. We're not just playing matching games, Martin. I am examining your brain to figure out why you decided to pull the trigger. This isn't just about playing children's games. This is an examination of your mind. Yeah, I get that. My girlfriend... Your I girlfriend are... doesn't know anything. She wants to put you in an asylum, Martin. She wants to lock you away. So you can believe what you want. I can be the bad guy, if that makes you feel better. But that will only alienate you from the truth. The truth that I am the only one who cares. I'm the only one who's brave enough to be on your side. I knew you were a fraud from the moment I walked in here. I'm getting married and we're getting out of here. No. What do you mean, no? It's not in the treatment. <laughs> there is no treatment. Mary is leaving for her mother's tonight. Why? Maybe it's because everything that she's ever done for you has been lost inside in your head. She mourns the man you once were. And many people can't bear that burden alone. You told her to leave, didn't you? It was in her best interest. <laughs> oh my god. I understand her pain, unlike you. Her and I's connection has grown far more than that of yours. You've known her for a week. In a way, so have you. <laughs> she would never send me away. You don't know that, Martin. She's my girlfriend. She wouldn't betray me like that. You don't know her like I do. Mary! Mary! Is what he's saying true? I don't know what you're talking about. Osborne! Is what he's saying true? The guy's a professional. I'm sure whatever he's saying has some bearing. And the guy's a quack. A week ago I wind up in his office and he's telling me I'm crazy. How do I even know you're my girlfriend? I've been telling you. We've been dating for five years. I don't know if I can believe that anymore. <sighs> whatever he's saying, I'm sure he's trying to help. Where are you going? My mother's! Just like that? We're going out to dinner. I wish I could believe you. Mary! If you're gonna leave, at least leave in one piece.
You love me. I love you.